looking for clients, um, if if anyone wants your help, how would they reach out to you? I can get me on Patreon or uh, YouTube or uh, email. Um, there are lots of places to get me. I, I try to focus on the people that are, I'm not cheap though. I have to say this is, you know, high level, high level stuff. Uh, I try to make it easy, right? Uh, where it's, you know, high level, but it's easy to understand and easy to implement. But, you know, I'm only looking for the people that are the most highly motivated that, you know, this isn't something that I wish it were simple where we could do it in one blood test, but just to have enough data, you need probably 12 or so. So it's at least a year if you're testing every month, you know, this is kind of a long-term process. So for people to commit that amount of uh, time and, uh, you know, money, you know, it requires the most highly motivated. So uh, those, those are the, the small group of clients that I have now. Uh, and I'm grateful uh, because they helped me learn too. You know, and we're all getting better here. Um, yeah, on my YouTube page, I've got a bunch of links. You know, I'm okay. pretty sure my, if my email is not there, I'm going to go back and make sure the email is on the YouTube page. But I'm pretty easy. You know, I'm pretty easy to find. I'm all over yes. the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. So uh, thank you very much. That was that was very helpful and, and uh, very comprehensive. I mean, the, it does seem I like the amount of work you put into this. Um, is really quite amazing. I mean, although I guess it's it's like because you've incrementally grown it over the t over 50, seven years or so, something like that. Um, the the thing is, I hope I'm doing it the right way, right? So you know, it's easy to look back in hindsight. So there are people. I don't know if you're familiar with the name, but you know, Jack Lalane. Are you familiar with that name? So in the U.S., he was like a quote, you know, quote unquote fitness icon in the '50s. He was on TV when TV first became a thing. This fit and lean guy telling people to, you know, exercise and eat real food and and don't eat junk food, right? And he would say things like, you know, I can't die; it'll be bad for my image. Well, he died at 95, and he was fit into his 90s, but he died at 95. For me, that's too young, right? So, um, you know, the extra layer above the eat real food and exercise is, you know, well, what does the optimal biochemistry uh, of youth and health look like, right? So, you know, maybe there are things that I'm not tracking. So Levine's phenotypic age uh, calculator, which you can calculate using uh, blood test data and mostly from the CBC, but also adding on C-reactive protein. Um, if I remember correctly, it wasn't associated with uh, uh, cerebrovascular disease. So there may be some holes in this approach, right? And what are good brain biomarkers? How do you have good brain biomarkers in blood, right? So, um, you know, there may be holes that I'll have to fill in and then someone else will come along and, and say, all right, that's what you did, but I can do this and that's how we'll make it better. And eventually we'll, you know, someone or myself uh, uh, will push this out to where we're, you know, extending health and, lo and, and longevity. Uh, you know, it's that live long enough to live forever, right? So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, excellent. So thank you so much. That was, that was great.